Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do a comparison video with Floetrol and Mixed Media Girl's new pouring medium. Um, we are going to mix up the same ratios of the same colors of paints and then do a painting with each of them um, to the best of my ability, keeping everything consistent. <laughs> so I've got five cups here because I'm ambitious and I want to make sure there's enough paint colors to go around. Um, the colors we're using today are all Artist Loft because it's the one I had the most of. <laughs> and again, I want to keep things consistent. So we've got Brilliant Yellow, Brilliant Blue, Brilliant Red, Mars Black, and Parchment. I didn't have white, so we had to go with Parchment. Um, because there's going to be so many colors, we don't need that much of each color of paint. So I'm going to start with Mixed Media Girl Pouring Medium on this side. Per the label, you do two parts um, pouring medium to one part paint. So we're going to do two ounces of pouring medium to one ounce of paint. We'll do the same thing with Floetrol on this side. Uh, and then we'll have to add water to consistency. And then I am using the Pixis cups that have all the label or the measurements on the side. So it makes it super easy. So I've got all the paint in here. Now it is time to mix. And you'll see how easily these colors mix together. Of course, I picked the parchment first, which might be a little bit harder to see on the camera. But you'll see, like I've barely even started, like what we're five seconds, 10 seconds in, and it is already thoroughly blended. So go ahead and start a little bit more and then keep testing out my consistency. I think this one is perfect. There are differences in the paints, even with, among the same paint brand. So this one works perfectly. The next one might need more or less pouring medium or water. Now we're on the yellow. Again, blends in super fast, super easy. I think I said it in a previous video, I've done a lot of different testing with different pouring mediums and some you just have to stir forever to get the, the color to mix in with the pouring medium. This is not one of those. This goes so well. Might be a little tad thick, but not too much. Put that over here. Onto the red. First thing I noticed is the color of that red did not change at all mixing it in. So you don't have to worry about your colors like lightning. Ooh, that's perfect. Nothing extra needed here. But super fast. Right now this is all in real time. Perfect. Here's the black. I'm almost out of black, so hopefully I have enough for the Floetrol one. We might might only mix up less than three ounces, we'll see, of that one. But I tried to pick bottles that I had enough paint in to do this. Ooh, perfect. Love it. All right, now blue. go back to this one real quick just see what what I want to do about it I'm gonna add a little bit of water this is just tap water and I mean a little you can add more pouring medium as well I just decided I wasn't gonna do that the flow trouble will likely have water in it anyway so the experiment will still be fairly consistent perfect I like all of that. 
Now let's get started on the Floetrol one. Before we pour the Floetrol into the cups that we'll be mixing in, I'm going to strain it into a larger cup because oftentimes I find that my Floetrol gets like chunks in it. So I don't want that in my paints. So I just strain it through a strainer. And I think this is a 16 ounce cup. We're gonna need about 10 ounces of Floetrol. I'd rather have too much than too little and have to play this game again. Any that I don't use in this red cup, I will pour back into the Floetrol bottle. It will not go to waste. Don't you worry. And then I just clean the strainer with a baby wipe. I normally also strain it after I mix it, but I'm not gonna do that because that's too much extra work. Now we stir to mix these in and check consistency and add water as needed. I'm gonna start with this black just because there's less of it. And that is still extremely thick, so we will definitely need water. Again, just add a little bit at a time, especially because there's only about an ounce and a half to two ounces here. No, two ounces here total. So if you add too much water, it, it doesn't take much to add too much water because there's so little mixture here already. Still clearly too thick. Using Mixed Media Girls Pouring Medium really takes the guesswork out of this part of it. Like how much water do I need? How much flow trial do I need? Like you always kind of start with the same base but I had to add a little bit of water to one color versus we're gonna play this game for all of these colors. There's the consistency we want. Now we're doing the parchment. Stir it in. how thick that is and this is the same consistency of this like or not consistency same measurements but extremely thicker so if you're very new to this acrylic pouring game this is going to be a lot of um, extra step and things that you'll have to learn and get used to versus this like versus using mixed media girls pouring medium it is much thinner and takes a lot of the guesswork out of mixing it. This is still a little thicker than I want. Now what you want for your thickness, for your pouring paints may be different than what I'm going for. So obviously you can adjust as needed. Even with her pouring paints, you can add more paint if you want it thicker. Um, add more pouring medium or water if you want it thinner completely up to you. That is much better. I like that. So you can see probably just in the time <laughs> of playing all those games it's gonna take. See look at how I keep stirring to mix it all in. Go ahead and add some water now because I know it's gonna need it. Still too thick. Again, I'm just adding a little bit of water each time 
Because if you add too much, then you've got to play the game of adding more paint, adding more Floetrol. <laughs> and sometimes that can feel like it'll be a never ending cycle. Perfect. All right, let's test this red. Definitely not near as thick as the other colors were. We're going to add a tiny bit of water here. Oh, I'm going to do one more quick test just to see. I like it. This is the Makes Me a Girl Pouring Medium, and this is Floetrol. Let's put them closer together. I think the colors are pretty much the same. I wanted to see if Floetrol actually impacted the colors or if her pouring medium impacted the colors. I don't think they do. I think it's pretty much the same. So that test is passed. And now for the yellow. Now even on the yellow on her pouring medium, I had to add water. So I expect to have to add a decent amount here as well. I'm just surprised how much water I had to add to the black. On the Floetrol side, considering I didn't have to add any on the pouring medium side. Okay. Add a little bit of water. Some more. Okay. Don't tell me that's too thick. much better. All right. So I'm going to get some canvases set up here and then we will do an acrylic pour and see how they compare. Just did a quick time check and this video is already like 15 minutes long. So we're going to end this here, but I'm going to post the next video right now. So it'll be posted back to back showing a painting using the paints we just mixed using the pouring medium by Mixed Media Girl and Floetrol. But alone, just mixing it, this took about half the time to mix compared to Floetrol and the took a lot of the guesswork out of it i had to keep adding water to the paints mixed with floetrol and you just didn't have to do that with the paints mixed with the mixed media girl pouring medium so at this point i highly 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 recommend getting yourself some uh, i'll put the link in the description so you can grab your own and then i'll link the next video uh, at the end of this video and in the in the description as well thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share and it makes you happy.